What's happening, YouTube fam? It's your boy Drizzle. It's your boy Drizzle. Boy Drizzle. It's your boy Y'all gonna hit that like button for the guy. Share, comment, and subscribe. If you've been before, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to my channel, baby. Alright, y'all, let's get into these presents, God. Christ, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this food I'm about to receive. May it be noise to my mind, body, and soul. In Christ Jesus' name, as I do pray, it's man. <sighs> Merry Christmas, y'all. Happy holidays, happy new years, all that extra shit. I know this uh, video is up late, girl. Because I told y'all in my vlog video that I was going to be doing this. But here it is. Mm. Oh my God. Y'all, that homemade shit is the way to go, girl. Mm, mm, mm. I was gonna say, I had this shrimp in at the last minute. Cause if y'all don't know too, besides fried chicken, I love me some seafood chime. As a matter of fact, after my video, my vlog video, I'm gonna um, post after this video cause I'm gonna do another, yeah. I'm gonna do another vlog video after I post this video for New Year's. That's what I meant to say, damn. Sorry y'all. Y'all know how I get down. I have to before these videos go. This is the bomb, man. And now y'all that be out there. I'll tell my son, why I don't ever cook for y'all bitch, cause y'all don't ever bring y'all ass to my house. Just like that one time when I went live from my Facebook. Try um, mm, mm. Y'all got excuse me, I'm hungry the other day. Yeah, honey. But did y'all like did y'all like my last um vlog video? Y'all comment down below. Cause I wanna start doing more of those next year. It was pretty fun. You know, and I never knew what a vlog was until one of my subscribers mentioned, you know, I like your vlog. I said, oh, so that's a vlog. So I, I'm young, but I'm old school as hell. I don't be knowing about all this new shit, all this shit be going on. So I keep it my damn self. And like I said, Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday, girl. My hands get so messy. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all that extra. What y'all got for Christmas? So I, I ain't getting that. All I know is I was glad to see it. A lot of people ain't see Christmas this year, child. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I love these colossal shrimp. For some reason, I just want some seafood with my damn spaghetti. Child, I'm ready for this new year. Girl, I got so many plans. So many plans, man. And it's starting to pick up more at my job, so I'm getting extra hours. I'm so excited about that.
Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not really big on bread, y'all, but I just felt like I want some garlic bread. Let's see what these taste like. They are right, fine. That's why we be like buying all that damn stove off shit. All them sauces and stuff. I would have been better off just making my own damn garlic knot. But if I had the time, I would have bought this. It is what it is. I'll tell you what, though, this is good. It's the shit, is. I ain't even bothering my lobster. Mmm, mmm. Yes, honey. But like I was saying, y'all, I have a lot of plans for next year. I plan on getting a bigger tank. That's gonna be one hell of a job. And I plan on recording and putting that on, on YouTube as well. Um, and like I said, that hamster cage. I wanna buy me some hamsters yet next year. Y'all just wait. I can't wait till YouTube start paying me, man. Cause then I could take that money and invest more into my channel. You know? But it'll come in due time, John. All this shit always comes together in the end. But I hope y'all had a good Christmas, y'all. I hope y'all also have a fun New Year. And a safe one. Don't do nothing stupid. And your ass up on Chef Judges' court. In that order. Hmm. Y'all comment down below, too, if y'all, uh, you know, if y'all watch my TMT segments. Because I don't know. I get a lot of comments about my food and shit, but I don't really be hearing shit about the TMT segments. Girl. Anyway, y'all stay tuned because I got some shit on the docket this week, bitch. Like I said, baby, some fuck shit going on out there, bro. These motherfuckers stay out of order. Child. Well, what can I say? Enjoy this recipe. Y'all already know I gotta go get ready for TMT. And uh, like I said, y'all comment down below and start leaving some tea. I need some tea, y'all. Okay. Alright. But anyway, y'all, y'all just sit tight and stay tuned. Cause I'm gonna go, you know, squeeze my knife and say squeeze. Because I'm already tiny. But I'm gonna go, you know. Put my little get up on, y'all just stick, stick. Uh, I think we'll get ready for this segment. I hope y'all enjoy it. Comment down below if you are. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, all that extra shit. 
But until then, y'all just sit tight and stay tuned, girl. All rise. Chef Judge Drizzle's courtroom is now in session. Thank you, Bailiff. Hey, y'all, welcome to Chef Judge of the Shabers. Girl. CJD Chambers, docket number 12, 31, 2020. All cases here heard today are strictly for entertainment purposes only. No shade, no read. Just stating the obvious. Okay? So, with that being said, first of the docket, We the People versus Kyle. Wanna be a pig, fuckboy ass, written house. Fuckboy. You are being charged with the fatal shooting of two Black Lives Matter protesters in Kenesha, Wisconsin. Fuckboy's arrest came out after multiple videos linked the team to the shooting, where three people in total were shot, with two of them dying. Fuckboy Rittenhouse, you are at all. Rittenhouse, aka Fuckboy, who is a white Blue Lives Matter advocate, has been charged with first degree intentional homicide and is now labeled a fugitive from justice. This bastard's social media history is full of misogamy and white supremacy, and he had access to an AR-15. We're protecting from the citizens, and I just got pepper sprayed by a person in the crowd. So you have non-lethal, but you, you didn't respond? We don't have non-lethal. So you guys are full on ready to defend the property? Yes, we are. No, I can ask, can you... Oh, so you was ready to shoot a bitch after you got pepper sprayed. Your target was unknown. Fuckboy's social media was taken down shortly after his arrest was made and it revealed that he supports the Blue Lives Matter cause and is full of pro-police commentary as well as misogamy and white supremacist comments. Who the fuck are your parents, bitch? They are out on this way. The fact that this pussy ass bitch took it upon himself to shoot and kill racial justice protesters is clear evidence of the white supremacy and radicalization that's happening across our country and tactically endorsed by the um, current uh, dumbass president. Kyle, wanna be a pig, fuckboy ass bitch? I'ma send your ass to be home from the tallest tree at Hadu, bitch. And after you um, strangle to death, burn your sick ass remains. That is the order. <laughs> case closed, next case. Pay our court costs, fines, and fees, you dumb bitch. Baby, get that bastard out of my damn courtroom. And don't slam my door on the way out. Rope waiting by the tree. <laughs> In that order. Next one, like that. We the people versus Jonathan. Funky leg ass, Mattingly, Flattingly. You are being charged with being a money hungry, gangrene, unemotional punk ass bitch. You was out of order. <laughs> Mattingly's punk, Flattingly, punk ass, was one of the officers involved in the fatal shooting of Breonna Taylor. Now his dirty ass 
has filed a civil suit against Brianna's boyfriend for emotional distress, assault, and battery on the night he was killed, on she was killed. Bitch, will you have off the medication when you file for that bullshit? Sergeant involved in the raid that led to Brianna Taylor's death is countersuing her boyfriend. Officer Jonathan Mattingly accuses Kenneth Walker of causing him severe trauma, mental anguish, and emotional distress. Mattingly was shot in the leg during the confrontation that killed Breonna Taylor. Walker is suing Kentucky's Attorney General, the Louisville Metro Police Department, and the city. Our national correspondent, Jerika Duncan, has a response from his lawyers. The law's not on their side, the facts are not on their side, and the truths are not on their side. Frederick Moore, one of Kenneth Walker's attorneys, says Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly's countersuit against his client is just the latest attempt to deflect responsibility for the events that led to the shooting death of Breonna Taylor. How can you sue Kenneth when he was acting lawfully? Mattingly's attorney, Kent Wicker, stated in the countersuit that Walker's conduct in shooting Mattingly is outrageous, intolerable, and offends all accepted standards of decency and morality. In a statement, he added that Sergeant Mattingly should use the legal process to seek a remedy for the injury that Walker has caused him. Walker maintains the police did not announce themselves when they executed a no-knock search warrant related to a drug case on Taylor's apartment back in March. He says he fired a single shot believing police were intruders. That single shot allegedly hit Sergeant Mattingly in the thigh. But a portion of the Kentucky State Police Ballistics Report obtained by CBS News says it's inconclusive who fired the shot that hit Mattingly. Walker spoke to Gail King earlier this month about the moment he fired his licensed gun. So you fire off a shot in what direction? Well, I know I wasn't like aiming it straight ahead. It was like down towards the ground, you know, trying to just, you know, scare him off. Also this month, Sergeant Mattingly spoke publicly to ABC News and the Louisville Courier Journal and dismissed Walker's version of the events. He said Walker was not pointing his gun at the ground. I saw his gun. Our postures were the same looking at each other uh, when he fired that shot. Walker's legal team says Mattingly is attempting to further victimize and harass him. You kill the guy's girlfriend in front of him. You shoot at him over 30 times. You change his life. And then on top of that, when he tries to exercise his constitutional right and receive uh, justice for what's happened to him, you then vindictively file a frivolous lawsuit against him. For CBS This Morning, Jerika Duncan, New York. <sighs> y'all were the bitches that broke into their house, bitch. Did y'all... <laughs> Did y'all try to file lawsuits then on Kenny? The shit got through that. The family took some weak-ass hush money of $12 million and the lawyers took seven of it. So y'all punk asses set up for some weak-ass shit. Brianna's tag life was priceless, bitch. Dumbass, broke ass nigga. Y'all is an owl. Shit, that shit happened in my family, bitch. That them motherfuckers wouldn't be in no money, no. Flatly claims he experienced severe trauma, mental anguish, and emotional distress because of Kenneth's actions on March 13th. Flatly. Do you not know how much trauma, mental anguish, and emotional distress you've caused for not only the family of Brianna, but the world, motherfucker? You was out of all. I'm just stressing here, sitting here doing this damn case. Flatly, I'ma send your ass to be shot in that same leg, bitch, by 21 gun salute. Bitch, until every damn penetration of all them bullets completely severs that damn leg off, bitch, in that order. Oh, wait, flattening. Beep, beep. The bus outside waiting on you, bitch. In that order. Case closed, next case. Pay all cost fines and fees, bitch. Next to the docket, we the people versus Georgia youth football. The coach who slapped the shit out of his player. Nigga, you are being charged with child abuse. An unidentified person in Maryland shared a video of the attack 
American Youth Football identified the team by the video and stated the coach was expelled from the league and was no longer, you know, to attend any of the games. The child's mom knows what happened and stated she didn't want to press no charges. Girl, y'all about to be glad that wasn't my kid because, bitch, I'll be on death row. You love snapping little boys, huh? I'm going to send your ass to be slapped with that same force with a sledgehammer repeatedly along with his old tying through ass mammy. If I was if I was down, I would have tackled and tore off in your ass and then tore off in his bitch. Y'all is out of order. Bailiff, escort these two abusive ass niggas out of my courtroom into the torture chamber in that order. Case closed, next case. Pay off cost, fines, and fees, nickels. Since y'all got so much money to be out here buying all this football shit and knocking these kids outside of the head, bitch. Torture room it is, in that order. That's what I like that. We the people versus Adam. Koi fish ass. Koi. Pig. You are being charged for shooting an unarmed man. And so on the death of Andre Hill, the unarmed black man who was shot and killed by a police officer, that officer has now been terminated. Stephanie Ramos joins us now with all the new details we're learning. Stephanie, good morning. Wait, good morning. That's exactly right. The public safety director in Columbus terminated the officer who fired those fatal shots at Andre Hill, saying, quote, his use of deadly force was not reasonable. This morning, the white Columbus, Ohio police officer who fatally shot an unarmed black man, Andre Hill, has been terminated. Officer Adam Coy, a 19-year veteran, was administratively charged by the Columbus Police Department for, quote, unreasonable use of force, not turning on his body camera, and not rendering aid to Hill, who was lying on the ground for several minutes before he received assistance from emergency responders. Put your hands up to the side! Within days of the deadly shooting, both the mayor and chief of police were calling for Coy to be fired. And after a hearing Monday morning, the public safety director agreed, concluding the actions of Adam Coy do not live up to the oath of a Columbus police officer or the standards we and the community demand of our officers. It was just days before Christmas when Officer Coy confronted 47-year-old Hill at a residence he shares with his daughter and her children. The officer responding to a neighbor's complaint. The gray SUV in front of this location keeps starting up and running and then turns off for a while. Here, you can see him holding a cell phone in his left hand. His right hand was not visible. At this point, Officer Coy raises his weapon and fires. Overnight, Hill's family calling Coy's firing the correct move, adding, we need to redefine a relationship between police and communities of color in which it doesn't turn deadly for a black person with a cell phone to encounter a law enforcement officer. The Columbus Police Chief says Officer Coy will now have to answer to state investigators. Federal charges from the Department of Justice are possible. Quit. All of that over a disturbance call. All right, Stephanie Ramos for us. Thank you so much. When will it all end? <sighs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. Adam Coy, fish ass Coy. Um, I'm going to send your ass to be shot in your face at close range as many times as you shot Andre, bitch. And then throw your ass, your remains, off the highest mountain and allow the wildlife to eat your remains, bitch. Let's speak on the order that is the order. <laughs> case closed, next case, bitch. Pay alcohol, cost fines and fees, you dumb stank fucker. Well, y'all, that completes today's segment of Chef Judges and Chambers, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, I hope y'all stay safe out there, you know. Continue to laugh at certain things, y'all. But like I always say, y'all, laugh this guy's gift on this trouble ass world. Till next time, try to laugh. Case closed, mess case, that is the all. Well, y'all, that's all I have for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are being safe out there. Um, I'm looking forward to this new year. I hope y'all are. 
You know, cause bitch, these last couple years have been a mess. But anyway, um, Merry Christmas. I know it's been past time, but anyway, I, I can Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, happy Kwanzaa, uh, all the extra shit. I love you guys. Stay tuned to my um, vlog New Year's video that I'm gonna post shortly after this one. Cause I'm trying to be more consistent with this, uh, you know, my creativity, y'all. Even though I'm working my ass off at the same time, with nine to five, and doing YouTube videos, child. and doing the craft that I do, child. But just comment down below if y'all enjoy my content. And y'all, um, be safe like that, man. It's gonna be a whole new year soon, and a lot of things gonna change. I'm ready for the change. Child. But anyways, y'all, like I always say, in the meantime, y'all behave. Stay prayed up. Let nobody's watching.